of us think about the future, right? Especially the future of our jobs and careers. Let's hear how some industry professionals at different stages of their careers talk about the future. So it's one of the long-term goals that I have is I want to improve how, like I want to improve destination marketing. So I've just taken on a marketing coordinator position. Look, I, I think I'm very, very, very much committed to 2020 and seeing this project, this museum past that centenary. I love working with people, sharing ideas, sharing intellectual property, helping them identify their, their moons, their, their tasks, their projects. So whether it's, um, dare I say that horrible word, consultancy, um, of which there are millions of them out there, but um, if there was a way forward uh, that that's something I end up doing later on in helping people, helping them grow this industry or any industry, I, I really don't know what to, but um, it's, it's, something, it's something I really enjoy. My priority, my focus is to really consolidate and to grow and develop in this role. Beyond that, five to 10 years, I really hope to be um, playing a, a role in the ecotourism industry and really seeing the development of our destination Queensland and strengthen the brand of it as a, an ecotourism destination and connecting people with nature is my career driver. So that may see me back at Tourism and Events Queensland, or it may see me as an educator, um, you know, inspiring the next generation of, of tourism industry em employees and, and industry leaders. But these hopes and aspirations need to be placed in the context of the reality of the future. So what does the future hold for the tourism and hospitality workforce? Our research has explored four key drivers that will shape the employment of over a tenth of the global workforce deep into the 21st century. Demographic, environmental, economic and experiential forces. As we have learnt, Tourism is an industry heavily reliant on frontline service workers. Demographic changes are forcing a rethink about the source of these workers. One view considers population changes. In developed countries, declining birth rates mean that fewer youth will be available to fill the vacancies in frontline service roles that historically they have dominated. In countries like Japan, France, Italy and the United States, ageing populations are projected to force retirement ages up to the mid-70s and beyond. Somewhat the opposite is the trend in developing nations with high birth rates projected to keep unemployment rates high for youth. So the scenarios in terms of the sources of the future of the tourism workforce are very different depending upon different populations in various parts of the world and their mobility patterns. For example, Trends show that retirees in developed countries are favouring moving to rural or seaside locations, places where they may indeed find part-time tourism employment. On the other hand, young people in developing countries are increasingly moving away from rural and regional locations where tourists like to visit towards large industrialised urban centres, where jobs are more numerous. This means that in the future, tourists and workers will be moving in opposite directions. Moving to environmental drivers, future scenarios point to an increasingly turbulent world. Global warming is already wreaking irreversible impacts on coastal destinations. Tourism workers in the Maldives, for instance, will need to make even more massive adjustments in their living and employment practices once their sun-drenched isles are projected to become submerged, before the end of this century. Volatile weather is projected to be matched by political instability. The destabilisation of the sovereign state and terrorism 
will alter the job descriptions of many tourism employees. Our research forecasts that employees will need to be resilient and well-trained to cope with the physical and psychological threats of precarious situations, especially as hotels and resorts often become refuges for distressed tourists and residents alike. In a recent study, we consulted with tourism experts from 17 Asia-Pacific countries regarding the economic and experiential forces impacting the ability of the future tourism workforce to service such diverse futures. Across three consecutive rounds of consultation, we asked our experts to rank factors they considered likely to have a significant impact on the tourism workforce in the Asia-Pacific by the year 2030. Our analysis showed a tension between firstly, future economic growth and prosperity and decline and hardship, and secondly, the experiential factors of customization versus standardization. Considering future economic forecasts, the previous model contrasted strong growth driven by technological advancements, more equitable distribution of resources, the rapid modernization and development of the world's poorer countries, and so on. Indeed, many economists predict a significant shift over the coming decades of economic power from the US and European powerhouses to the sleeping giants of the East, Indonesia, Malaysia, China, India, and Africa. On the other hand, many futurists forecast a bleak economic future, characterized by more meltdowns like the 2008 global financial crisis, the implosion of many of today's leading economies, a growing disparity between the poor and the rich, and the emergence of rogue states that undermine the ability of elected governments to maintain economic equilibrium. These scenarios could lead to reduced tourism flows and fewer tourism jobs. These contrasting scenarios also play out in what experiences tourists in the future will favour. Stresses on future tourism workforces has stimulated the pioneering of technological innovations to complement or even substitute human labour. One scenario is that the massive untapped markets of developing countries will herald a new era of mass tourism. Here, most destinations will need to respond to capacity issues by providing standardised experiences, one-size-fits-all products. This massive demand will necessitate reliance on technologies to complement or even replace the tourism workforce. Beyond today's realities of automated hotel check-ins and even robotic housekeepers, are the prospects of sci-fi-like androids servicing all tourists' physical and emotional appetites. Pushing beyond the experience economy to the experience scapes for the tourist of the future are further consequences of the technological advances infiltrating our lives. The digitalization and mediatization of tourist experiences and the creation of simulated virtual realities is well documented in futurist films, as is pushing the boundaries of space tourism. These virtual and extraterrestrial workplaces will transform the nature of tourism employment. Tourism experience providers may well wear lab coats as they monitor sophisticated apparatus that experientially, if not physically, transport guests to distant virtual scenarios. And space tourism employees could redefine the meaning of seasonal and flexible work. Therefore, 
technology may satisfy mass demand by creating bespoke, hedonistic, unique and authentic experiences for those wanting to avoid the madding crowd. Returning to our team's macro, meso, micro framework, there is now a collective responsibility for governments, industry leaders, communities, employees and academics to further interpret the implications of these scenarios and more. Though futurists use desired, probable and possible scenarios to make predictions about what various futures might look like, it is clear that the future we desire and those most probable are likely to be very different. Regardless, these futures are certainly going to shape the reality of your future tourism employment experiences and career hopes and dreams.